how easy would it have been if if on day one they were making the decision we tell you everything that happened then there's no content for like a week from a from people, people. For a bunch of right people. there's like, no, the like people were saying think about we it were milking no it. fuck we weren't milking it we, we were not milking, milking it would have been out there like talking about it like it's not they yeah. wouldn't be like, milking it either because they're like they started scrims like weeks behind and i think milking it for content like to ruin your competitive like integrity is dumb as shit so anyone that actually thought that doesn't have brain cells first time ever that we've made a roster change without having a backup plan um, just kind of how things and obviously like i can't speak to that so, so they did do that bad. yeah cl clearly things were bad okay. so they if, did if, if so that was like out... a rumor right before the i mean before i guess hector just confirmed it there that was like a rumor that everyone was saying that they everyone was flaming them for making a roster change without having like an actual idea and to seth's point insinuating that's how bad it was i mean and, and look we weren't milking sheesh. it and it should be obvious because if if if, if we'll there's try a the milking, there's a off. Benefit, uh, right? Yeah, there's is it like a link or what? We, we get something out of it. We we got shit. That's dumb as fuck. If people actually like thought that they would milk that, right? that's so stupid. Uh, you know, people that weren't that didn't even follow us were like, "Oh, you all your fans about <laughs> <laughs> you." No, we fucking don't. No. Okay, first of all, it's, yeah, it, it, and I'm, I'm I'm talking strictly to the person that yeah, doesn't follow fuck. Optic at all, but wanted to join in on the. It's like those crypto people that didn't understand and they were talking like all this shit about nfts they just wanted to talk shit but this is the thing if we if, if we if i ruined it if i ruined it and from the beginning said this is the plan and this is how we're gonna try to execute this thing and that's what it is then there wouldn't have been uh stipulation on uh it's pred and then the following day oh my god it's not pred it's our cities oh my god it's not our cities it's it like for five days straight people were sort of imagining outcomes i saw tactical rap as usual saying chaos continues at optic literally there was no chaos there's we no, were, there was just, there's no chaos at all this guy is, is is the epitome of using ai to come up with his youtube titles give me something that's gonna uh <laughs> chat gpt give me a good title but my, my bad rob listen bro i didn't i didn't say it hector said it and he's the goat i didn't say that shit that emphasizes will i co-sign it Yes, I didn't Something say Something that's though. happening this way. <laughs> chaos. And, uh, going I'm going I, I, I appreciate, uh, I, I respect what, what Tactical Rap does. At least he's adding, like, he's not like oh, these losers man. that rip streams and re-upload them yeah, without yeah, having right. anything to fucking. Yo, fuck those guys. Yo, to, to his point though, fuck those guys. I don't, I like, Rob, I, I, mean, I mean about Rob. I don't really give a shit. It doesn't make a difference. I just, whatever. The people that literally rip my stream and upload it, fuck you, bro. Like, I hope you step on a Lego. I hope you're fucking, you have mismatched socks and you can't find the other one. Like, I, fuck you, bro. You suck. Ray, why did we make a team change? Because things were not expected. <laughs> I gotta, dude, if you want to get into this, I gotta, like, Did it have up. anything to do with performance? No very 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 <laughs> minimally and if if that like I mean, yeah it's to the point where you're saying no yeah no dude I, we dealt okay here look we were gonna make a roster change insane. in the offseason it didn't happen we felt like we could move through it and do we ended up not being able to do that period nothing more to that the reason that led us to want to make the roster change in the offseason is what led us to make a roster change in this point now there's nothing more to say about it did we try to get Insinuated. someone quickly yes did we try to get someone else quickly after the first person didn't work out yes like, we didn't just spend our time spinning here and like, oh, yeah, you guys waited fucking two weeks to make something happen. Like, why are we just hearing about this now? Like, we're not going to share you guys everything that's going on behind the scenes. It's, it's, it's unimportant to the situation, and it's going to hurt it helps us for everybody making moves. It, like, literally. So to the point of, like, that, like, like, trust me, I worked my ass off for, like, I spent my holidays working. My mom was in town. My, my family was in town. Respect Ray I spent time with them to a certain extent, but, like, I was sucks. literally on there. my phone. <laughs> basically every it's, freaking day chat this is what he's describing is how off seasons go in transfer periods of like actual free agency like unrestricted free agency that's how it is for players as well it's like ray ray is describing very adequately like his family's in town like he needs it's the holiday it doesn't matter bro like if you if you don't answer your phone if you're not by your phone 24 hours a day seven days a week like some shit could happen so it's like i i feel i feel for ray here i do and it was the most frustrating experience of my life because yes there's certain ways that people do business in this world that aren't conducive. Like everyone has their own way of doing stuff to be fair. Um, there's different people that have different chains of command to do certain things. And that leads you to have a discussion with someone and they need to approve of someone else and they approve of someone else. It's just, it, it's, it's frustrating. It's annoying, but it's just the way things no, are. Dude, it, so, that shirt so is this wild. Is, uh, we, we try to get Alec and LAG immediately said, Correct. we're not letting go of Alec. Yeah. If Serge would have led that same way, 
I would have no issues with them at all. But the fact that for a week we got to the we got to we got there. What was the percentage? Of we what? we got ninety nine. It was ninety nine. The, the thing is, this, we got uh, what they wanted. We got it. Yeah, they got no, no, no. Look, it, it, we we offered. You haven't had to worry about that for the past two off seasons. I said unrestricted free agency. Well, I guess I, technically I was an unrestricted free agent when I joined LAT, but like I was going to be here regardless. But like every year prior to the CDL, when you know contracts would just end on a yearly basis instead of the one plus ones. Uh, so every year in the CWL and then the MW19 year going into uh, the CDL. A lot of money. I, 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 people are saying it's the most, you know, the most significant. Not over seven figures. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a million. Not Cole, over seven figures. No, no. It, I don't. I don't think. I don't. <laughs> I mean, this us not even talk about. Let's not even talk no, about. Numbers. That that. We're not going to talk about numbers. numbers no but point. if on Friday, oh, I said two If, if on Friday, yeah, 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 people actually believe that shit, dude. If I, if <laughs> wait, you it's say, such you a troll. Say random numbers to get reactions. We thought we were buying out no, fucking bro. Barry Bonds. Let, let, me, <laughs> let me just put it straight. Given the circumstances, that offer was like, in my opinion, definitely in their favor. Yeah. Like period. Like that's so. It had to be. Like, to, for Ray to say that it had to be in their favor for a player like Pred, that had to be like high six figures, not like two hundred and fifty grand or anything like that. Like, it had to be like a decent chunk of change for sure, because for it to be in Seattle's favor to to get rid of a player like Pred, the amount of money has to be like pretty fucking significant. The, the thing is, this is if 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 on Friday we were told it hey, had to be like Pred high six figures for sure. Important to us, I'd say like we're over no, six hundred. No amount of money is gonna is gonna get them out of here. I would have been like, oh, I understand. I think it's over six. I, I think it's over six for sure. It's, I would never let go of Scum. I would never let go of, of, of Shotzi. Future, right? Chop liver. But 250K is also significant. Rambo yeah, can negotiate. But, Maddie, you know. uh, uh, irreplaceable. I just wanted, wow, to, I just wanted to clear, <laughs> oh, I just wanted to clear up right. a few of the like... Ah, right, you heard no, it here well, first. No, no, let me finish. Hey, no, teams, no, if you no, want no, a no, fucking let, professional let me, coach let, let me, that, that has experience and I'm has been right. doing stuff like this for a while, my bad, right? This is bang my line, baby. I just wanted to clear up a few of the false narratives that I've seen that just fuck, dude. I see people like they just. It make was not chaotic. Sh they the just make shit up. Like people well, just make hey, shit up, and then they run with it, and then people yeah. also believe it, and it's like I'm sitting here like none of this is true. Yeah, and, and we can't say anything because then people get mad that we say something, and it's like, dude. It's, well, tell us the whole thing. It's a lose lose. If you guys want us, I, I know that I know the content creators don't want us, is, but if you guys want us, we'll we'll leave speculation out of the way, and we'll just ruin it, right, for everybody. The other thing is, you guys, you have to consider is that as there we are, don't want speculation. We yeah. wanted to get the shit done. Yeah, that actually is like, kind of crazy. Yeah, to, to talk about though, what, for sure. What I just talked about just like Seattle just. That's not I mean, the they're basically like just saying that Seattle was aired. sandbagging the deal. Because, I mean, H Hector literally just said it, that they kept just raising the number, and Optic kept agreeing, and Seattle just kept, you know, egging him along. So, that's kind of tough. What was uh, the other timestamp? We ended up picking up Hook, who was one of our targets originally. Oh, they're still, uh, they're still But going. he was also in I thought LAG, they were and under contract, and we were just like, fuck. So, and you then know. they were all released, and it ended up working out. It ended up working Thankfully. out. Thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. Because yeah. Kyler's been great, so it's, it's like, been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other thing is, is like, and I understand, and I, uh, I understand the game. I've been a YouTuber since 2008, right? So I understand. You have to think about the fact that what happens if we just tell everybody there's 59. no room for <laughs> Zuma, there's no room for Tactical Warrior. I'm not saying that we're doing it for them, but wait there is something to keep the interest of the league and the interest of what's going on in the league alive True. when I'd there's a downturn. I'd rather it wasn't that way. So this do is I. The point, this is the point that I, that I always make, chat. Because you got, do you guys remember that take I had? I think it was either last year or the year before when I said over the offseason that I hate when things get leaked and everyone in... Everyone's like, oh, but what about Woj? And like, what about this? Or what about this? And like, oh, we, like we're here for the leaks because things are boring otherwise. Do you guys remember when I said that? Like, the space is so much more entertaining. And I know people want just like cut and dry. Optic is dropping Dashy. They're pursuing Pred. Like, an Optic gave me tweet. Like, yo, we want Pred. Here's what we're doing to get him. Like, that's not going to happen just because it's like in the esports space or at least Call of Duty specifically. I think that kind of does happen in like League and, and Counter Strike. But I think in Call of Duty specifically, that's just not how things operate. And I know people want it like that, but I just, that's just not how things go. Same. So do I. But I got flame for it. Yes, I get flame for but everything is, that I do. Right? It is. It's, it's part of the game. I'm. I'm here for it. Uh, I, I'm just not here for the titles because I. It, it very, very, very frequently I feel like just calling people out and be like, "Dude, you're 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 teetering a line here." 
uh, a little bit too fucking much. So yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, uh, what was the other one? Forty-seven. You guys said. Yeah, we, we started, started, started screaming like, was it four days? How ago do you now? feel about it? Oh, sorry, the practice brings me back to like the MW days, honestly. Yeah. Like that. I mean, I'm running a new role, so I'm not. I'm fucking like tweaking right now. I'm I feel like you're having a good time <laughs> doing it, man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. This is the third role change I've had this the year. Fun. Technically, Stop saying that, bro. You've said it like I went five from, times. Already. I went from M4. We get it. You're great. I went from M4. Tell we're getting. We get it. I went from like strictly <laughs> M4 to basically tack like a hard flex. Now I'm like mainly tack. So like, which is the the scar. So it's like. I haven't been able to really get comfortable dude, all year. That's a fucking game, hopefully dude. this is the last time I have to change. Uh, was there ever and time you cared about what people too. said about you? Now yeah. Like Seattle. The first day that we played, I realized I was realize that I'm that fucking yeah. guy. I, I think I threw, <laughs> my, trophy, I threw <laughs> my trophy two times on There's a lot of self-doubt, Chad. <laughs> the first time we played. Sure. The first yeah, like, you know, I, I went from pretty pretty regular amounts of success throughout my career to, like, literally just getting piss slammed for two years and getting flamed for it. Other than, like, MW wasn't that bad. MW was just, like, a f anomaly year. But Vanguard, or not Vanguard, fucking Cold War, everyone was just flaming the shit out of me for being a kill whore moron, which, by the way, most hill time and most kills in hardpoint for, like, the last seven years. I have both. How? Just saying. How, how is Twitch when you when you turn it on? Do, are people just... Twitch has been great when I turn it on. Yeah. Like, usually I'm getting fucking hounded, but, like, I think people, because it's my last year, they're, like, kind of, like, easing up Can on me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, has yeah, said like, anything? I can't believe you'd fucking drop him, you scumbag. And I'm like... Dude, what? Now it's like, now yeah. it's like it's my last year. Like, yeah, I will. I, I, I has Ant said a word? The years, like, you guys have to understand <laughs> that although we said, are in front of your has screen, he said a word, like bro? We are not. Like, there are. Oh, like, man, I've teamed with Brandon for this would be my third year now. So like, you know, we've been through a lot together, and yeah. like, it it wasn't easy. We had like an hour call with him, us three, and oh, it was fucking good. not fun. Yeah, and that's cool. Not then, though. A lot came. That from doesn't it, happen, honestly. But I respect that though. What's what Seth just said never happens, God. Um, he he said that they, they like talked to Brandon as a team, which is like something that very, very, very rarely happens. Like you don't get, unless it's like the team is very close, which is like they've been together for three years, obviously. So like they're going, this is gonna happen. Unless the team is very close, your your warning sign for like, hey, you need like things need to change or like you're on the chopping block. That doesn't happen in COD. You just get dropped. And like I think players would rise to the occasion more than not if it was like yo uh recently you've been fucking dropping a point five like fucking why <laughs> and i think like people would un like get the fire lit under them a little bit more and it would help but in kata you just get dropped there's no nothing um unless like i said there's the, the outlier situations where you know if you've been together for three years that's why i wanted ray to say it's not performance based because it's not performance based at all and that's why it's like it's hard. It fucking sucks because I love Brandon. I love Brandon as a person. It just didn't work out. Yeah. And, like, people don't understand, like, the team aspect of things sometimes. They look at, like, a person's stats or their talent, and they're like, oh, like, that's great. And it's like, Seems I'm, like not, and I'm, no, trying, I'm not trying to bash Brandon. I'm no, just trying no, to, like, no, no, no. Yeah. people no. don't, like, they don't think about everything. They just think about one thing, and then they fixate on it. And, 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 as, and yeah, then they mind. fucking, like, just keep driving that narrative. Yeah. Hive and mind. Sometimes the narratives are just wrong. No, the thing is, is, like, and I understand. Most, most of the time. Yeah, most yeah, most of the time, yeah. And I understand hyping up the video and, and, and being clickbaity and all that stuff. And, I, you know, in this day and age for YouTube, you have to almost be a super liar on the, on the title in order to get the, the attention for a good piece of content. Uh, but if you, if like I was there and I walked away from this thing, but we had, uh, we had a party at your house and we were all super lit. You m more than others, I think. And you, and, and both was out there <laughs> yeah. with you and Brandon. Off the and wand. you like, you, you had a serious conversation with him. Like a very, very, I was, I was actually kind of, kind of proud of you, the way that you approached it and the way that you like were that. No, it. I was going in on him. I texted yeah. him after. I was no, like, my did. bad for going in no, on him. No, but, but it was, <laughs> yeah. the, the, That's the, good, the, the way that you did it was very mature though. Like the, a lot of people. Just that doesn't happen, man. I'm telling you guys. And you laid it out. Stuff like that doesn't happen, bro. It's, it's very important that we do this thing. It's important for you and your future and your career because, like, here you have the Good opportunity to sort of set the pace Respect. for what, you know, the, the team's going to look like forever. Like, something that, that you understand very much. Like, the, the, there's, there's a responsibility that comes with, with being, you know, in front of the, the crowd that we had. Crim6 was talking about the, the, the amount of pressure that, uh, that, be, that playing in front of Optic or playing for Optic is. Uh, and, and although I do understand it, and, and you say this a lot too, like, none of, none of the things that we have, luckily, come without the pressure that is put on there. And although True. the pressure is always going to – in any sport, you're going to get this, this sort of pressure. But the way that he positioned it is like – like, he even brought Brandon into the call or something. I, I, I watched it briefly, but he's like, he's like, 
like how much different is playing for Optic than it is for any other team, right? Because there's a, there's a pressure there. And then Brandon's like, well, I will say that, you know, when you win, it's the best, right? Because so many people, like, talk how good you yep. are, et cetera. But when you lose, like, you know, it's not the same amount look. of people, right? But there are people that are going to talk shit to you. The same way that... Bro, I- it's arguably more. I, 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 I'll disagree with Hector in, in, in that way. I It could be more, bro. I, I, like, when you win and... You're on a team like Optic or LAT or you're, you know, just a, a, a high with a large fan base. When you win, it's obviously great. But when you are losing or you are underperforming, it is arguably worse like more people like harping on you for things. So I'll disagree with Hector in, in, in that way. But um No, nah, he's absolutely right though. I think the like the, it's just it's par for the course, bro. You play for Optic. It's the biggest esport or the biggest organization in Call of Duty, one of the biggest organizations, period. Like it's just it's just you just gotta deal with it bro people just like put all their shit out there but like i've always internalized a lot like i and that's why i said when i'm done i should do a tell-all and give people my (laughs) side because i've never gave people my side of anything yeah true but what do we say i've never said anything i've always just kept myself and like seth has done a very good job you know what i'm saying but they always throughout his career at me yeah and it's like that it like yeah not to not to meet ride too hard chat but that is something that i i will always respect about seth and like hold him in high regard for is that regardless of the situation or anything that's happening around him he's been very good about like navigating it in the best way possible like they will be losing um like you know obviously they got last in major one fucking they didn't you know whenever they're just not performing in general he's always he always does a very good job of navigating it and dealing with the shit because he is the number one cod player ever obviously and in terms of fandom um so he's going to have the loudest voices, right? Just because there's the most of them or he has the most and he, it never, it like, you don't really see it on him ever. Like you know, it, it doesn't ever seem like he is dealing with it in a tough way. And it, it doesn't ever seem like it's getting to him. And I've always respected that about him because I obviously had to deal with that shit when things aren't going well. And it's a fraction of the shit that he has to deal with when things aren't going well. So I've always respected Seth a lot for that because that is, um, that's something that a lot of people can't do. Uh, I sucked at it for a while, but he uh, he has always done a very good job and he's been playing for fucking 86 years. So I've, I'll always respect him for that. I get it.